Hello, welcome back. My name is Ryan Huntley, the Agave Man with Backyard Nectar Company, here with HD Liquid TV uh, to bring you some agave cocktails. Uh, today we're going to be using uh, a, an array of agave nectars. Uh, these are perfect for uh, any cocktails that need balancing with sweeteners, uh, your pancakes at home, your hot tea, you know, your kids' lemonade, whatever you have you. Uh, we're going to be using this product today uh, so you can understand how versatile it is. Um, so let's get started. Uh, today, the first cocktail we're going to make is going to be a twist on one of the most uh, most popular cocktails to do renditions on, and this is going to be the old fa a twist on the old fashioned. Uh, so today, we're going to do the Oaxacan old fashioned. Uh, we're going to be featuring a hundred proof uh, Dulce Vida tequila. Uh, this is aged in Garrison whiskey barrels. That hundred proof tequila is really going to give it a nice punch that it needs uh, to stand up in this old fashioned. And then we're going to complement it with Casa Amigos. Uh, mezcal, it's the newest uh, mezcal released into the market. Uh, it's doing great things for this category. We'll go into more about mezcal here in a, in a few minutes, uh, but now we're gonna get into making this cocktail. So um, to start off, we're going to use a nice two ounce pour of this 100 proof Dulce Vida tequila. There we go. And then we're just to give it a nice little smoky, uh, smoky flavor, we're going to add half an ounce of mezcal. Now the bitters we're going to use for this old fashioned is a mole bitters, chocolate and chili. Uh, it's really going to complement the agave notes in this cocktail very well. Just give it one, two, three, four dashes of mole bitters. And then we're not using sugar. We're going to use what I like to call Mexican sugar. This is uh, vanilla bean infused agave nectar. We're going to use one quarter ounce. Uh, remember, agave nectar is sweeter than sugar, so a little bit goes a long way. Go ahead and put some ice on it. I'm going to give this a nice stir. Agave nectar also dilutes very well, so you don't have to necessarily shake your cocktails. Uh, even if it's cold, it'll, it'll dilute very nicely. So for this cocktail, I, I believe every old fashioned should have an ice ball. So we're gonna go ahead and strain this over. Uh, the reason I like ice balls for cocktails like this, they dilute very slowly, really holds up the integrity of the cocktail. Uh, so you're not gonna get watered down. I'm gonna give this a nice, Peel, orange, get those oils nicely inside. And there you have your Oaxacan Old Fashioned. So the next trick we're going to do, um, I love, I love, I love this cocktail. We're going to feature uh, Casa Amigos Mezcal in this cocktail. Now, Mezcal is, has a huge movement right now. Yeah, George Clooney, you know, if you guys have been out to your local bars, uh, they'll have tequila on the back bar. The chances are you've run into some Casamigos tequila. You know, they created their brand starting out just wanting to, to bring friends to their vacation home, had their own tequila brand, and it was so popular, uh, they, they ended up distilling it for all of us to enjoy it as well. So, uh, great, great, great product. Um, so we'll get into it. So this one I like to call Jardin de Oaxaca. It's the Oaxacan garden. Uh, we're gonna be using fresh blackberries, lemon juice, you're gonna, we're gonna use orange liqueur as well. And then we're gonna bring in some fresh basil we picked out of the garden this morning. Uh, all right. So what you're gonna need uh, to start this cocktail off is a nice mixing glass. So uh, now the fun thing, fun thing about mezcal, uh, it's very unique compared to tequila that's out there. Tequila is made from the Blue Weber agave plant. Uh, mezcal, you know, it can be, there's dozens of different agave species that you can use uh, to distill this spirit. Uh, so every, every mezcal that you, you find out there in the market is very unique in its own way. Um, Casamigos uses an espadine, which is the most popular uh, agave plant that you'll see out there on the market. Uh, it's very easily domesticated. You can find it uh, farmed or in the wild. Um, 
You know, so chances are if you've had a mezcal cocktail in a bar somewhere, you've come across this uh, espadine. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start off first with, all right, I'm gonna have to stop right there. Yeah, I was like, I can't even find my, I'm looking for my, looking for my shaker tins. Shaker tins, oh, here we go. That's what we're gonna do right here. I knew I had them around here somewhere. I got it, I got it. No, I think this one's fine. I like this one, yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're gonna start off with fresh blackberries. So we're gonna do four to six blackberries in this cocktail. Now, we're gonna use half an ounce of an organic light agave nectar. And one ounce of fresh lemon juice. All right, so we're gonna take this even a light press, blackberries are you know, very soft, so it's not gonna to take too much. Alrighty. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one and a half ounces. Casabigos mezcal. And one half ounce of Cointreau. Some ice and shake. Get a nice good seal. All right. Grab your glass. I'm going to fill this with fresh ice. And I like to single strand this cocktail because I like to leave a little bit of fruit behind in the glass. That's a beautiful color there. All right. Now for garnish, we're gonna get an orange slice here. We're gonna play with fire. So I like to toast my orange just to really release that citrus aromatic. Mm. Play with fire. You can do a little fire dance if you want to. All right. Let's set that orange right on top. Get our basil. Right. Wake it up a little bit. Tuck it right there on top. And there you have your jardin de Oaxaca. So next, we're going to be making a prickly pear martini. I think that every every everybody at home should know how to make this cocktail, especially if you're using agave spirits. Prickly pear is a nice fruit, comes off the cactus. Uh, every Mexican restaurant you walk into is gonna have some sort of rendition on this cocktail. Uh, it's simple, easy to make at home. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. So I'm gonna pull off some Patron. This one. All right. mm -hmm. Clean up my tools here. All right. All right. So for this cocktail, we're going to be using Patron Blanco Tequila. Uh, we, I like to add Vive Acai. This is a berry liqueur. Um, it's going to add, complement this prickly pear, give it a nice uh, fruity complement. Um, and then we need fresh lemon juice, fresh orange juice, and orange for garnish. So we'll go ahead and get started. So this one, we're going to start off with one and a half ounces of Patron Silver. I'm 
gonna do half an ounce of the one ounce of a fresh prickly pear puree. Then we're gonna do equal parts of orange and lemon, half ounce of each. And tie it all together. You give it a half an ounce of agave nectar. Put it all together and let's shake it up. All right, I like to serve this cocktail straight up. A beautiful color there. And we're gonna garnish this with a little bit more fire. We're going to flame an orange right over the top. Really get those caramelized oils on the top of this cocktail. And there you have it, your prickly pear martini. All right. So we're getting fruity today. So these cocktails are a hit during the summertime. Uh, you know, you want to entertain people by the pool. You know, something light and refreshing. You know, agave is very versatile, so um, please feel free to enjoy these cocktails anytime. Uh, you can find me uh, on Facebook, looking for Backyard Nectar Company, Instagram as well. Um, you can follow me there if you want to find out more facts on agave nectar or agave spirits, or if you just want to talk cocktails, uh, you can reach out to me there and find me there. So, you want to find my videos? HD Liquid TV, baby. Where you find them on YouTube? Uh, I mean, sure. My cell phone's usually on. Yeah, I, I'm down to talk agave 24/7. Let's do it.